Hello everybody, Danky here back again with another uh, intellectually stimulating episode of Big Brain University for all the big brain boys that want big uh, bulging bonkers. Uh, we are going to check out a video today called Who Are the Racists? Who are the racists? Is that like a is that like a baseball team? Like the, I don't know, like the, like the, um, Nashville rapists, racists, uh, or rapists, they could be rapists too, um, both of those are, uh, valid names for sports teams, but let's, let's get on with it, uh, I, I'm kind of stalling because I, I, I'm nervous about what this video is going to have in it. Every single day, right away, you got you got to bring out the token black guy when you're talking about, you know, why Republicans aren't racist. Someone of prominence on the left, a politician, a cable news host, an entertainment figure, accuses someone on the right of being a racist. I wonder why that is. It's, it's not like every day uh, right wingers say racist shit. Um, that never happens. Here are typical examples. MSNBC host Chris Matthews said this, the age of Jim Crow managed to find a new habitat in the 21st century Republican Party. I agree with that statement. Comedian Seth Meyers told his late night audience that Republicans traffic in open racism. See, I, th I thought they liked freedom of speech, but here they are getting all pissy about, you know, comedians uh, giving their free speech, stating their personal opinion. But yeah, when Republicans say shit like uh, they're building, uh, they're sending uh, criminals and rapists, I assume some are good people. Yeah, that's kind of trafficking in open racism. I mean, I don't know on what planet uh, you would live on where that wouldn't be considered open racism. Tennessee State Representative London Lamar, a black woman. Shout out to London Lamar. Uh, I love London Lamar. Uh, she is really fighting the fight here. Announced that the entire state of Tennessee is racist, period. Uh, I can say a whole lot about this. Um, this is probably worth its own video. Uh, I actually live in Tennessee. Um, and London Lamar is one of our few elected representatives who actually uh, has the cojones to call out this sort of institutional racism that has dominated Tennessee politics since, you know, since time immemorial. It's, Tennessee is a backwards racist fucking state, and anyone who disagrees with that statement either doesn't live in Tennessee, or they have their head uh, up their butt, and they don't know uh, what the real world is like. This was just after she was elected in Tennessee. Yeah. The left calling the right racist isn't new. It's been going on for decades. And the, the right being racist isn't new. Decades. Republican presidents Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, <laughs> George Herbert Walker Bush, all his son George W. Bush, fuck. were all accused of being racist. And of course, it's from the left's were. perspective, racist is essentially Donald Trump's middle name. To call someone... Now... I mean, yeah, they were all fucking racist, demonstrably so. A racist is a very serious charge. It is. A racist is a person who believes that one race is inherently superior or inferior to another. It's not intelligence, character, or values that determine an individual's worth. It's his or her skin color. To say that racism is food. Well, no, because the racist always link skin color into intelligence. So... And, and they link that into values like uh, blacks are just naturally dumber. And so they live a naturally more decadent lifestyle. That's the kind of shit that racists say. Foolish and stupid, not to mention evil, is to understate the case. But according to most Democrats, Republicans are that stupid and that evil. So let's. Wow, that was actually. That's actually a Prager U uh, and stupid, panel that I like. Not to mention evil 
is to understate the case. But according to most Democrats, Republicans, Republicans are, are that, that stupid, stupid and, and that evil. evil. Yeah, I like that. I wish I could like take a screen cap of that and, and, and put that up because it's true. So let's examine some conservative policies to see if they are indeed racist. If they are... I hope they examine... Um, you know, like the imprisonment of all the children, uh, the migrant children at the border, the refugees. Um, and I hope they look into uh, Republican measures to curb uh, voter, voter registration, especially in the state of Tennessee. Uh, they brought up Tennessee. You want to look into that. Um, yeah, I'm sure they won't find any racism. Then the left has a valid complaint. And if they're not then the left is lying. The long-standing conservative opposition to affirmative action is a good place to start. It was that Democratic President John action. F. Kennedy who in 1961 first used the term affirmative action. But affirmative action in the way we think of it now wasn't implemented until 1970 during the administration of a Republican president, Richard Nixon. The theory was that because of historical discrimination, blacks were at a competitive Nixon disadvantage to other races and ethnicities. To erase that disadvantage, standards that most blacks so presumably couldn't meet not had to be lower. Black people. One can make the case that this policy had some utility when it was first put in place. But that was a long time ago. The conservative position is that blacks have repeatedly proven they can compete with anyone without the benefits of lower standards. <laughs> there are countless examples of black success in every field at every level. The policy thanks to affirmative action probably policy is no longer necessary. But the conservative argument goes further. Study after study shows that, in the case of college admissions, affirmative action hurts more blacks than it helps. By lowering admission standards for blacks and some other minority students, colleges set many of these students up for failure. They get placed in schools Ow. for which they are not prepared. And high black dropout rates confirm this view. You know, we can't have black people going to college and, and dropping out um, you know, it's not like white kids go to college and drop out too. It's not like they come from a, uh, they might come from a more dis uh, advantaged community where it's, it's actually a pretty giant accomplishment to be able to go to college. And, and, uh, yeah, uh, these, this dude over here is arguing that, you know, it's, it's, it's a darn shame. It's all because of affirmative action that these that all the stupid blacks are going to college too. Should just be the smart blacks. I mean, can you believe this shit? How could it be otherwise? If academically unprepared white students were admitted to Ivy League schools, they too would... Uh, they are all the time. Academically unprepared white students make up like a giant percentage of my freshman class in college. Like half of those people couldn't fucking form... They couldn't write a paragraph uh, correctly if their life depended on it. it. It was really quite sad. ...be set up to fail. Conservatives believe blacks and other minorities are every bit as capable as whites of succeeding as engineers, surgeons, policemen, businessmen, lawyers, That's and lie. college students. And therefore, lowering standards for blacks is unnecessary as well as insulting. Yet for this belief, conservatives are called racist. The irony, of course, is that those who accuse conservatives of being racist believe blacks and other minorities are not as capable as whites of succeeding. And We're not saying that they're not as capable because of their race. Uh, it could be they uh, face more difficulties because of their socioeconomic conditions. And so we're trying to make it easier for people uh, of color to get in the college. I mean, what? Who is against this? Who is against uh, poor people of color having a shot at getting a higher education? And even if they were screw ups before they uh, went to college, what if they go to school and they they finally have a shot? All right, college gives people like a second chance. And what, they will finally have a shot to get an education and to improve their quality of life. Uh, according to PragerU, that's bad. And therefore still need affirmative action, almost a half century after it was first implemented. 
Let's look at another issue where this contrast between conservatives and those who accuse them of being racist is even more starkly drawn. Voter ID. Oh shit, here we conservatives go. Conservatives say America should require every voter to present an ID when voting, just as European countries do to help keep their elections honest. Why not just have automatic voter Are all these democracies racist? Of course not. Yet the accusers say that conservatives who support voter ID are racist. Why do they say this? Because, they argue, it's really a ruse to prevent blacks and other minorities from voting, since many of them just aren't capable of acquiring an ID. Because it's an extra fucking hurdle, and sometimes they want to make sure that you have like a driver's license or something too, and not everybody who lives in crowded urban cities has a driver's license because they don't need to learn how to drive. Um, and, and, and a lot of uh, poor people can't afford to fucking take the time off to go register to vote. We need to just have a system where everybody's automatically register, registered. Can you get more condescending than that? Let's be real. You need an ID to drive, to fly, to buy a beer, even to purchase some cold medicines. Whites can- Driving, flying, buying beer, purchasing cold medicines. Those aren't rights that are enshrined in the Constitution necessarily, but voting is. Everybody should be able to vote. End of story can do it, but blacks can't? Tell me again who the racists are? One more example. It's conservatives who push for school choice, which would allow all parents, not just wealthy ones, to decide where their children attend school. Meanwhile, they'll defund all the schools that they deem poor, black, inner city, and those schools will be left to the gutter, and, uh, Conservatives also want to cut funding for public schools and boost funding for private schools uh, precisely for this kind of reasoning. I want my little Johnny to be able to go to the nice, clean university, not with all the common rabble in the Negroes. Tuition vouchers, charter schools, I mean, these serious, are conservative that's, initiatives. That's the line of thinking. Those on the left it's, fight it's harsh, these reforms true. at every turn. It's the left that doesn't trust minority parents to select an appropriate school for their children. Why aren't the people who keep black children in failing schools the racists? At some point, maybe you'll start asking yourself like I did, who's really obsessed with race, the left or the right? And whose policies really hurt blacks? Maybe it's not who you think it's it is. Obviously the right. I'm Derek Green of Project 21. This was a for really university. Derek Green of Project 21. Uh, you are an idiot. Uh, I am sorry to say uh, this video was a shame. It, it really was a shame. It made me feel sick. I feel sick. I'm gonna go th I'm gonna go throw up out of my butt after having watched this garbage. Thank you. Thank you very much.